morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is Megan and Marvin and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin and this time we're going to be talking about the most frequent asked questions in the previous uh, stream that I have done in this channel which is, is it okay for me to transfer from one job to another? So this guide would help you reflect on if it's time or if it matters when you change a job okay so the first thing that you have to consider is the damage type what do i mean by this if you have physical damage right now for example um on my on my case uh, on this account's case die for use case is using physical attack right now as a sniper but before becoming a sniper he was an assassin cross mainly focusing on soul destroyer so naturally his uh, accessories are more concentrated on magic attacks and magic damage so you have to consider that do you have extra you know shards or stones okay it's gems <laughs> strange gems do you have extra strange gems in order for you to directly purchase the needed accessory for the job that you want to change to or you still need to farm this for example you are like me a priest and i want to transfer also to sniper but i still don't have enough you know gems in order for me to pur purchase the pack wherein i could get the two slot uh, accessory then it would be very hard for me if i change right away and i'm still using magic attack accessories right so you have to consider that the second thing is if you are switching on the damage type also you have to switch on the cards right most of the reasons that i have come across to why people can't you know can't decide or can't transfer from one job to another is because they don't have the right cards yet for the next job it's not that easy to change cards too on my case again priest to sniper i need a lot of agility and crit cards right and even the the proc cards skill proc cards like orc archer or injustice card i still don't have those so i can't transfer right away because i'm not gonna enjoy when i become a sniper if you know my cards are not complete the third thing is the cores okay you have to be ready with the Vero scores. In terms of the Vero scores of this character, he's more than ready in, you know, combining a lot of, uh, he has a lot of Demi Cogwheels because he has already gotten the best Cogwheels, Demi Cogwheels that he could get for Soul Destroyer before. So all of the other Demi Cogwheels that he is gaining or he is getting, he just saved that so that he could combine enough to get a five weight like this a five weight demi cogwheel etc and also aside from that he has enough mysterious cogwheel gacha he is mainly getting it here because he already uh, obtained the 100 mysterious cogwheel gacha from the weekly purchase at neon berry shop so the only way for him to get another one is through the mysterious shop so if you don't have enough or if you did not save enough mysterious cogwheel gacha you're going to be most likely be stuck on the Demi Cogwheels, which is not a bad thing, but you know, you could have extended your your performance of your character if you had a very good smelled on cogwheel. Okay. Next would be enchants. Enchants, you have to consider the enchants. If you have a plan on transferring from one job to another, you have to start getting a preset, a newer preset for your desired second job. And this is one of those things that you could prepare earlier even before you change your job so if you click on your enchants there will be different presets here if you haven't opened the preset and you want to you know transfer to another job in the future you can do so by just paying it uh, paying i think 30,000 zeni at the second preset and those set of presets there would be the the you know the the set of enchants that you'd most likely be using when you become another job okay so it's very important and if you don't have these presets yet you must have enough enough mora coins just in case you know you have a luck like me <laughs> you become unlucky in rolling mora coins 
and and enchants so it's going to be troublesome if you for example you are a priest you have magical attack enchant and you become a sniper a sniper needs a sharp enchant at foremost or a legendary if you don't have sharp enchants so if you don't have any saved up mora coins then it's going to be a bad thing for your character okay next would be sigils a lot of people don't really consider this in changing jobs some of them forget already that oh my goodness i really have to change sigil jobs so uh, job sigil sigil jobs job sigils like this one okay you can actually interchange their level for example my current sigil here is level 8 if I, if i want to become a priest for example and i already have the the requiem here if i'm going to be a magnus priest so there is an item in the ro shop that will be making you change interchange the level of your job sigils and that is this one uh, consumables i think yeah this one job sigil converter but you must first unlock the sigil that you want to transfer your current level of your job sigil if you don't have that unlocked then you cannot do anything so you have to save at least one of this job sigils back okay so you have to have this one so that you could freely interchange them and of course that 300 nyan berry so that you could purchase the job sigil converter okay aside from that some sigils are not going to be applicable to some class so you have to consider that too next feathers okay in terms of feathers more and more of the people right now are becoming accustomed to light and dark feathers they're just purchasing light and dark feathers since they have both pvp damage bonus and pvp damage reduction which is huge if you have a ton of it on your valkyrie status but the most important thing that people are you know uh, taking for granted is the ignore death or ignore magic defense some of the classes maybe would be you know much more easier for you to ignore defense or magic defense of the enemy for example the uh, gravitational field or the magus exorcismus they ignore a lot of magic defense of the enemy so in terms of other jobs they ignore only around 20 percent or 40 percent so you have to pump up more so aside from space and time tier you have to also focus on day tier day tier and the sky tier that's why um i started to change the dark and light tier here since um, i'm not sure if it's already uploaded in our global server the recent patch uh, the balance patch that the the taiwan server had some people say that it's already ninja patched in our server we're not totally sure we haven't uh, gotten any answer from that one but just in case they have already patched it we need to pump up ignore magic defense now since uh for example in my case Ma magnus exorcisus now only ignores 80 percent of the magic defense of the enemy so i have to get the 20 percent somewhere else so that's the reason why i have to pump up not only space and time tier because this has this too has ignore magic defense too not only that but also day tier day tier has ignore magic defense the sky tier where is the sky wait wait oh this is not mine <laughs> okay it's not mine the sky tier also has um ignore magic defense and ignore physical defense and uh, that's also one of the reasons why i put a day tier here instead of uh getting all of it on light and dark since it's really helpful you have you still have to ignore the defense of the enemy okay so this the feathers are also very important to consider next would be pets yes some of the pets some of the jobs would be requiring or mostly uh, becoming easier in their life or in their in their gameplay if they have a certain pet so for example it would be easier for a paladin in a sacrifice build if it has a baphomet jr or a sohi tier 10 for that matter so it's very important for you to consider also the pets for example if you're going to change from one uh, from physical damager to magic damager or magic damager to physical damager and in my case i already have a tier for 
um, Dunel and I want to become a physical damager, the Dunel won't be doing that much aside from the fact that, you know, it also buffs physical damage, but only 8% physical damage. So, so the main goal of the Donnell is not going to be accompanying you anymore, which is the global cooldown and the cast time, because you're not going to be using it that much in your gameplay, okay? So, kindly look on your pets too. Next, medals. Of course, medals are also one thing to consider particularly the medal of uh, wisdom and the medal of heroism in my case i have pumped up medal of wisdom since i am using magic damage right but there is um another <laughs> another nyan berry item <laughs> which is the war badge 200 nyan berry so that you could exchange the level not just put one all of the level on one medal no you have to exchange them so if you leveled up both then you will have a problem so there is such as this one more badge so you could interchange the level of your medal of heroism and medal of wisdom so you have to take that also into consideration the next one would be statues so, so in terms of statues we have the wisdom statue here that, that concentrates on physical damage we also have the rune here that concentrates on magic damage. So sometimes people won't be needing uh, physical damage. They only concentrate on magic damage, but they want to become a physical damage dealer job class. They're going to lose these stats since they're not going to be using it anymore. The, particularly the damage part here. The, the reduction is still good, okay? Aside from that, way, way down here, we have the relic. Uh, relic statue which increases the element damage that your character is dealing so in other characters wherein you can switch different uh, element damage this is not going to be a problem but for priests for wizards this is somewhat you know something to consider because for priests you would most likely be using the holy uh, stat bonus or holy attack here the second part of the relic statue for wizards, you would most likely be using the ghost skill damage here. So, uh, you have to also look on that, okay? Lastly, number 10. This is the most important part. If you're not enjoying your job anymore, if you're not enjoying the game, and you really want to switch, you can go switch, really. This is just a just a guide for you to, to have a look on which things to consider in order for you to completely change to another job but if you really want to change that badly you, you you may change as long as it's not going to affect your guild if your guild is competitive it's not going to affect the the lineups of your parties etc but it, if it's already affecting your enjoyment in game then go ahead do so change your your job so that you could enjoy the game again okay so take note that changing job that is uh, you know when you are not prepared is going to cost you a lot or wait don't stop watching i know you will get excited with this good news i have for you we have a new partnership in the channel introducing the King James Enterprise or the KJE. The KJE has been the source of thousands of players for all their discounted top-ups not only in Mobile Legends, Lords Mobile, Genshin Impact, but also all of the Ragnarok franchises ever since Ragnarok Eternal Love. And KJE is now expanding also to Ragnarok Origin. So are you excited? I am excited. Just use the promo code below IMMORTALMBGG to get huge discounts on your first top-ups and even on your succeeding top-ups. So what are you waiting for? Let's top up on Ragnarok Origin with me. See you there. It's going to disappoint you in the performance of the job you changed to okay so that's it 
thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like. Share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Start a new stream or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye. Cause now I found you